In today's video, I'm going to show you how to um, install Samba and file share on a Orange Pi 5 single board computer using the RBN operating system. So the first thing you should do is go to RBN config. Type in sudo rmbn config, enter, type in your password. And you get here, let me make it bigger. Go to system, go to SSH, and make sure all of these are checked. So you could press the space bar to check it. Right now, I, I unchecked it, so you just check it like this. It's going to first ask you to install it, and then you have those enabled. If you want your phone authentication to work, you could do that, but I'm not interested in that. So you could do that if you want, but those three just have to be set. And then save it, and get out of here. Go to back. Go exit that's it for that next thing you must do is you must type in the following you gotta update your RBN operating system I already I do this recently so it doesn't take long if you haven't done it for a while it's gonna take some time next thing is sudo app get dash app get upgrade enter this could take um a long time or may not take any time at all uh, like like at all like what i did because i recently updated mine and upgraded it so you need to install samba this is the command for that okay um Next, you have to make a folder. As you can see, my username is Ace, so I have to put home Ace. Share. I'm going to call it um, Gonna call it network share, okay. And next thing we have to let's see if that's in there or not. Okay, it's called network share, it's right there in the directory. So I wanna type in this next. I'll put all this in the video descriptions below. So now we have to configure the file. For the configuration file for Samba. This isn't going to be on there. So I'm going to delete it. Actually, we can't. We got to go in here and do this like this. I'll pretend I'm just doing it new. So I'm going to go to copy here, paste all that in there. It's not Pi actually. It's Ace. Because that's my username for this computer. I'm going to call it see if it's actually called Network Share. I just want to see. It's called Network Share. Okay. This is a commentary. Lowercase yes. I want to make this visible. That's what browsable means. Writable means I want to be able to send files to it, to that folder. Now you press Control X, press Y, and then enter to get out. Next thing I want to do is I want to make a password for my. Samba share.
So it's sudo smb passwd space dash a space ace right here ace. If your name is Tom, then it's Tom. If it's Don, then it's Don. You put that on there. Whatever name is in the front of it goes back here. Enter. It's going to ask for my password. I'm going to have to enter it twice. Okay. Now I want to start the Samba service. Service space SMBD space restart. Enter. It's going to ask for my password. Authenticate. I want to find out what my IP address is. Host name space dash I. 192.168.1.130. Okay. If I want to share multiple folders, I can do that as well. So I can go back here. Sorry, I typed in the wrong damn thing. Type that again, go back in, paste. Go all the way down. I think you share more than one folder. I could add another path. See what other folders I got in here. Got another folder called share, so I'll share that as well. So X, yes, enter. Type that in again. Okay, so now I want to go back to my desktop computer. Okay, so now I'm back on my desktop computer. Before you start, go to uh, control panel, go to programs, go to Programs and Features, turn Windows Features on and off. Make sure Samba or S SMB is enabled here. All of this should be enabled. That should be enabled if it's not. Uh, Windows is going to install it and this could take several minutes. After you're finished, you'll restart Windows and you should be able to use it. So. I want to type in my IP address, which was 192.168.1.130. If this is your first time doing it, it's going to ask for a password, username and a password. For me, it's ace. That would be the username and the password is whatever I put in there. 
So now I'm able to share the folder. So let's see if I can send some files and share it. Okay, now I sent those files. Let's see if I got it at the other other end. So I'm going to go back to my Orange Pi 5 with uh, Arbian on it. Okay, so now I'm going back to Arbian. I'm going to go to my folder. Go to uh, see if uh, I get the files. I got the files. I got them. They're music files. Let me turn on the sound. Okay. Those are the files that I got. Okay, great. I, I was able to transfer those files. Thing is, I only got one folder. I wanted two folders, which is a little bit odd. Okay, so it went to this one. Okay, so I, maybe I have to make another one. Let me try that. Right in there. First one, I'll just call it that. No, I don't want to save that. Go back. We'll call it name one. I could only have one at a time. Call that one share, and this one I'll call this. Let's see if that works for both. Pro X. Okay. Go back to my computer. Okay, so now back on my computer. I want to go to Windows Explorer and try that again. Now I got two folders, name and name one. See if I could put, put files in there. See if I get it in there. It's 
Send those meaty files. Let's see, some more files. Okay, so I sent those files. I'm going to go back to my uh, Orange Pi 5 with Armbian on it. Okay, so now I'm back on Armbian. Let's see if I got those files or not. Go back. I sent it to that folder, right? Network share. Okay, good. So now that's how you share folders on um with Samba. If you have any questions or thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.